Hi guys. So I have this question under vectors which reads for the vectors in the figure below find the following. We have the dot products as well as the cross products. So before we even go into finding those, let's first figure out the three vectors that are being talked about. So we have vector A, vector B, vector C. We are guided to say that uh, A is in the x-axis, B is in the y-axis. So, since A is completely in the x-axis, meaning that it has no component in the y-axis, hence, vector A is simply in the x-axis, positive 3i. There's no component for A in the y-axis, so we'll just say plus 0j. Same thing for vector B. Vector B is only in the y-axis, so the x-axis, 0i. In the y-axis, we have 4j. How about vector c? So to understand what is happening with vector c, here's how vectors work. If I have a vector like this, I can draw its components. I can have a component here and a component here. So suppose this is vector, let me use different letters. Suppose this is vector m, this is vector n, and this is vector p. It's clear that the resultant vector is m. So how do I get to m? Well, m is equals to, you start from n, then you add p. That's how you find an expression for m. Now, this is straightforward because of the arrows. But the problem is, look at where c is pointing for our diagram. So since c is pointing in the opposite direction, first of all, I want you to think of it like this. Let's assume that C was not pointing in this direction, but C was pointing in this direction. This would mean that we have A plus B is equal to C, right? Straightforward. Now, since this C is pointing in the opposite direction, then we're going to get C with a negative. So it will be A plus B, and its resultant is C. But because of the direction of C, it's not pointing in the direction that we are adding A and B, we're going to include a negative to C. Like that. So this is the expression that we're going to use, and this is what is going to guide us. So let me just remove all this. So how do we find vector C, if that's the case? We have A and B. So to find vector C, first of all, I can get rid of that negative. So if I divide throughout by the negative, it means that I'll have negative A, negative b while c itself becomes positive. Okay? So, vector c is equal to negative a. So, what is a? Vector a is 3i plus 0j plus vector b is also negative. So, instead of plus here, let me use a minus. So, minus b b is 0i plus for j. So vector c will become negative 3i. This is a 0. I won't even write it. On the other end, we'll have minus 4j. Like that. Hence, you can put it here. Vector c is equals to negative 3i minus 4j. Alright. So now that we have the three vectors a, b, c, we can proceed to calculate what we're being asked. For the first part, we've been told to find a dot b. So, let me just pick up my vectors as they are. Okay, let's bring them here. All right, so we have our vectors. Now let's find a dot b. Now a dot b is the dot product. So a dot b, let's see what we get. I think we should get a zero because a and b are perpendicular to each other. So vector a is 3i plus 0j. Vector b is 0i plus 4j. So 3i times 0i gives us 0i. 
0j times 4j gives us 0j. So this is a 0j vector with a magnitude of 0. So I'll just write it as a 0. Part B, the dot product of A and C. So A dot C. This is what we get. A dot C, vector A is 3i plus 0j. Vector C is negative 3i minus 4j. I think I made a mistake here. This i should be squared. And since it's a squared, it will just become 1, 1. So since it's 1, 1, this will just be like this. Just be 0 plus 0, which is just 0. Much better. So 3i times negative 3i gives us negative 9. 0j times negative 4j gives us 0. So our answer here, negative 9. And lastly, the dot product that we need to find is between b and c. So the dot product b dot c. So vector b is 0i plus 4j. Vector c is negative 3i minus 4j. So 0 times 3, that gives us a 0. 4j times 4j gives us a negative 16. So our dot product there becomes negative 16. So there we have it. We have found dot products. Now let's proceed and find the, the cross products. Let's see how that goes. So A cross B will be our first one. We have our vectors there. So let's find the cross product A cross B. This is part D, I believe. So A cross B, we're going to write it as a matrix. So as a matrix, we're going to write it as I, J, K. So for vector A, we're going to get the components. So in this case, we don't have K. Let's just remove the K part. Just do it direct. OK, it's OK. You can include it. It's OK. So what's the I uh, for A there? We have a 3. Here we have a 0. There's no K, so 0. For B, we have a 0 here, a 4 here, and a 0. Now remember, when we find a determinant, we can say plus, minus, plus. So from there, we can say A cross B is equal to, so we have the I. So the 2 by 2 that will be formed here will be 0, 0, 4, 0. Minus the J, the 2 by 2 formed will be 3, 0, 0, 4, plus the k. 2 by 2 formed here will be 3, 0, 0, 4. Something is not right. I think the one for j should be 3, 0, 0, 0. This is a 0 as well. OK, so a cross b. So in this vector, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 4, everything is 0, minus j. Here again, everything will just give us 0. Again here, everything will just give us uh, 0k. So a cross b, this will just result to 0i minus 0j plus 0k. So this is the result that we get. And this is just a zero vector. So everything is just equal to zero. So next up, we need to find the cross product A cross C. So let's see how we get A cross C. See how our vectors here. So to find A cross C, we'll say, I think that was D. This should be E. Where is it? Uh, 
E is A cross C. Yes. So A cross C. So we have this three by three matrix again. I think it's safe for you to even create a two by two matrix like this. So instead of a three by three, since we don't have K, let's just create a two by two. So in this two by two, we just have I, J. But of course we're using the three by three, so let's just focus on that one. We have I, J, K. Let me not uh, bring in that concept because it might confuse us. So here we have a three, the coefficients for the best vector, zero there, zero there. For C, we have negative three, minus four, then here is zero. Don't forget the plus minus plus. So A cross C, we have the I. The two by two formed will be zero, zero, negative four, zero. Minus J, the two by two formed will be three, negative three, zero, zero. Plus K. 2 by 2 formed will be 3, 0, negative 3, negative 4. So we're going to have k. So a cross b, this is why it's safe to include it. For this part, we'll have uh, 0 in the major diagonal minus 0. Same thing here, 0 minus 0. For the k, we have it in this case. This will give us minus 12 minus 0. So, A cross C, this is a 0i minus 0j minus 12k. So, the vector A cross C is just negative 12k. So, there we have it. Now, for the last one, let's see what we have. For the last one, we have B cross C. Let's see what we get as B cross C. So, B cross C. So, again, we create a 3 by 3 matrix. We have I here, J here, K here. For vector B, we have 0, 4, 0. For vector C, have negative 3, negative 4, here we have 0. Don't forget the plus minus plus. Alright, so B cross C, we have I, the 2 by 2 formed is 4, negative 4, 0, 0. We have the J, the 2 by 2 formed will be 0, minus 3, 0, 0. We have k. The 2 by 2 formed here will be 0, 4, negative 3, negative 4. So b cross c. So this should give us i. Then 4 times 0 is 0. That times that is 0 as well. Minus j, 0, minus 0. Plus k. This will give us 0 minus negative 12. So B cross C is just 0i minus 0j plus 12k. So our final answer B cross C is positive 12k. So there we have it. I hope it makes sense.